NVIDIA is in a very tough spot right now. The US government is currently tightening export restrictions to China. The US is citing national security concerns as the reason behind these restrictions, which directly impact NVIDIA's AI chip sales. Despite the constraints, NVIDIA is showing resilience by developing new AI chips that comply with US rules. This situation is a classic example of the delicate balance between national security interests and the advancement of technology. The impact on NVIDIA stock was immediate, with a drop of over 1%, yet the company remains confident in the global demand for its products. Google's Gemini is more than just a single AI model. It's a trio, each with a specific purpose. We have Gemini Nano, designed for Android devices, Gemini Pro, powering Google AI services, and Gemini Ultra, the most powerful, aimed at data centers and enterprise applications. But it seems it's not set for release just yet. Google's launch of Gemini is significant, especially in light of the competition with OpenAI's ChatGPT. Google claims that Gemini surpasses GPT-4 in 30 out of 32 benchmarks, particularly excelling in multimodal capabilities, including understanding and interacting with video and audio. Gemini's launch is not just about maintaining a competitive edge, it's about transforming Google's entire suite of services from search engines to advertising, making them more intuitive and efficient. Apple is stepping up their AI game with two new tools called MLX and MLX Data. These aren't just any tools, they're special programs that help developers build AI models that work really well on Apple devices like MacBooks. Apple's been quiet in the whole AI discussion, focusing more on the behind-the-scenes stuff than quietly implementing some AI features in their products. But right now, with MLX and MLX data, which developers and researchers can find and use on GitHub and PyPI, Apple is showing they're ready to play a bigger role in AI, just like Google and Microsoft. Of course, this is not for us, the normal people, since this is a developer tool. But this aims to give developers an easy-to-use but still powerful environment to build AI models. With all the AI concerns these past couple of weeks, the European Union is currently engaging in critical negotiations over AI regulations. These talks focus on the military and security applications of AI, with EU lawmakers and governments attempting to reach a consensus. The key issue here is the use of AI and biometric surveillance. While EU lawmakers are pushing for a ban in this area due to privacy concerns, some governments are advocating for exemptions for national security, defense, and military purposes. The outcome of these discussions could set a precedent for how AI is regulated, not just in Europe, but globally. It represents a significant step in determining how technological advancements can be balanced with ethical considerations and privacy concerns. And that's a wrap on today's Tech Rundown. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below and please consider subscribing for more tech news and tech reviews. This is Marty, signing off.